Hello and welcome to the Emmons Island Haunted Trail and thank you for joining me. It's today is October 1st, 2024 and I'm doing my annual update video that I do every year to let you folks know what's going on this year for the Haunted Trail. We're going to be looking at the website here in front of me. We're going to discuss the website. We're going to discuss some key uh items or information that you need to know before you come here on the 12th. So let's do that. I'm going to hopefully we keep this video down to eight minutes. Here we're at the main Haunted Trail uh, website. You'll see here that we've got our parking locations listed on the website. I will provide the website link in the comments below. But, it, you know, it's www.ihtrail.org if you just want to type it in yourself. So the two parking locations we have for this year are off-site parking. It's Island Auto Haven, which is 122 U.S. Route 2, or the Grand Isle School, which is 224 U.S. Route 2. You'll need to go to those locations to park for this year. You'll have to take a bus from that location to our venue. The buses will be running from, 4 uh, from 4.45 to uh, 10 p.m. So you shouldn't have any problems getting on a bus and going from those two locations. Now, definitely do not park on Route 2. I believe you will be towed this year if you do that. So I'm just putting it out there that it's not safe to park on Route 2. It's a 50 mile an hour zone. And I have told the sheriff that I'm going to do everything in my power to get the word out that no one should be parking on Route 2. Now, if you feel that you need to park close to the venue, you've always got Donaldson Road as an option. I'm not telling you you should do that. But if you're one of those people that don't want to go to the school or Auto Haven or want to get on a bus and you want to be you want to kind of just do your own thing, just please do not park on Route 2. Thank you. So as for on-site parking, we will have on-site parking available for the uh, kids event from 4.30 to 5. So you get a, a window of a half hour. So if you wanted to show up around 4.15, we'll get you on-site. If you've got strollers, you got small kids, you can park on-site. You don't have to go to Auto Haven. You don't have to go to Grand Isle School. Those locations are for the night um, event, really, uh, to uh, help with the parking. So we show up with your kiddos around 4.30. We'll get you on site, get the strollers out, walk the trail. Now the kids event is going to be from 4.30 to 6 p.m. So that uh, that should work just like we normally have in the past. Uh, made that work. Uh, that should be a good time for the kids. And then at 6.30, that's when the main event happens. That's a PG-13. That's parental guidance kind of thing. We just ask that... Uh, if you're bringing small children, that you're aware that it's a scary event. We tone down the gore factor. We try to make this a very friendly uh, event, family-friendly event. We have seen children as, as young as five-year-olds walk it at night with their parents. There's never been an issue. Uh, but again, we've got it open during the daytime. So if you've got a, a child that might not make it through the night event, they can come during the day at the 4.30 you know, 4.30 to 6 uh, window when the, when the sun's out, uh, they can walk it. Here on the website, obviously we're a food drive. Uh, we're asking for seven non-perishable goods or $10 a person. No expired food. We, we can't use expired food. Please do not show up with expired food. If you're going through your grandmother's cupboards to get food for the event, if you're a teenager doing that, going through grandma's cupboard to get to the event, please check out the dates. I think you're capable of doing that. Just don't bring expired food. Uh, from grandma's kitchen. I mean, a lot of times, uh, I mean, we all know that expiration dates are, are just a recommendation. A lot of food will keep. It's just that as a food shelf, we cannot give expired food to people to eat. And it doesn't help us to have it because we have to pay to get rid of it. So please uh, show up with not expired food. And our $10 a person, we haven't changed that price in 24 years. We've always just asked $10 a person as a donation. Uh, the inflation has affected us just like it's affected everyone else. I have always found that's my uh, contribution to the event is if our expenses go beyond our intake, uh, I'll just eat those costs. But if you can afford more than $10 a person, we would welcome it. Uh, our expenses have gone up. 
But again, we did not want to raise our ticket prices to meet inflation costs because then we would price out large families. And that's not what this event's for. This event, the Haunted Trail event, is for A, to do a fun, friendly Halloween event that everyone can afford, and B, to bring awareness of those people that are hungry in, in our county or in our state and the ability for all our neighbors to come together to help with that food crisis because it is a crisis in Vermont. It really is. You might not be aware of it, but many people uh, do not eat healthy. They do not eat well. Uh, in a lot of cases, it's children that that, that need is the highest. You know, uh, people being able to feed their children at home and a food shelf helps them do that. And our local food shelf is up there at the church there, the Blue uh, Roof Church there on Route 2 next to Arch Repair Shop. Actually, you got Emmons Market, you got Arch Repair Shop, and then you got the church. I think it's St. Joseph Church. I could be corrected right there. But that's where the food shelf is. So if you find yourself in need of services, I believe they're open every Wednesday. They got a sign out front. You'll be able to check that out. So really, I just wanted to keep this video short, under eight minutes. So no parking on Route 2. The two locations we're asking you to park after uh, 5 p.m. is Island Auto Haven. And thank you, Sean, for allowing us to park there. And the Grand Isle School. So thank you, Grand Isle School, for allowing us to do that. And the busing will start at 445. I think I've covered everything. You can come to the website and, and check us, you know, check all the details out. If you're volunteering, let's just quickly do that, the volunteer page here. If you're volunteering, show up with a flashlight, please, because you're going to be in a dark location. There's a section on our website that explains what we expect from you and what we, we need from you. Now, if you're one of those people that you get up and have your Wheaties in the morning on Saturday morning and you're like, oh, I want to do something tonight, Saturday night, and you've never helped us before, just show up before uh, 530 if you show up at 530, park on site because all volunteers can park on site. That's not a problem. Just tell somebody you want to volunteer. Come up to the deck. We'll put a costume on you. You'll put you in a spot. You can scare people all night long. People have done that for years. Just showed up last minute and say, I want to volunteer tonight. Now, I do have people that uh, have pre-planned their experience, meaning that they know what they want to do and they show up before that. So all from today to the 12th, I'm available. So if you find that you want to volunteer, but you want a specific spot, you want a costume that works for you, we're, you know, you can contact me here on Facebook or, or uh, through our uh, website and reach out to me and we can make that work. We can find you a spot. We can pre-plan everything for you. But if you're just one of those people that just want to show up and scare people, the only thing I ask for my volunteers is just don't show up drunk. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for, for uh, taking your time to watch this video. Um, and uh, if you're volunteering, let's be as sober as can be because uh, it is a it's an outdoor event. Uh, it's a family friendly event and uh, we want to keep everyone safe. All right. Well, thank you for joining me.